Welcome to my amazing adventures in Ghana. I'm your host, Nicholas Buama. Join me as I learn more about the beautiful culture and explore some of the amazing places in my father's home country, Ghana. Today I'm here visiting Shy Hills Reserve. Shy Hills was home to the Shy people and is now a sanctuary for monkeys. Interesting fact. They were named the Shy people because when the British would visit, they would say, let's go speak to the shy people on the hill. Meet Abraham, my tour guide. Let's listen in as I learn all about baboons. The common ones to see are the baboons. And the, um, the baboons, they move in family. Each family from 20 to 35 in the number and they are territorial animals. So every family have a territory. There's no way a two group will meet together. If they meet, it's going to be a fight, so they never meet together. All the time, they move according to their territory. When we are study their behavior, you see that the young ones, they like playing together. The adults also like playing together. That is why they have been saying that monkeys play by sizes. It is true, because when you study their behavior, that's how they do it. Most of the people that are being here, they know them. So as you are here, they are, they are watching you. They are recognizing you. Next time when you come back here, they will definitely know you. Because they feed on their own, they don't stay at one place. They always move around and then search for their own food. So what do they like to eat? Uh, they, they, they are kind of animals, they based on fruits. They eat fruits, right? But sometimes they eat some animals like insects. And sometimes too, they eat fresh, but they don't base on the fresh. Their major food is what uh, fruits. Yeah, that's what they eat. We can get closer, but we can't enter the yard, okay? Yeah, because it's, it's not safe for a visitor to enter the yard. Anything can happen. So you just stand behind the fence and then you watch them. That's what we do here. They have been here for almost four years now. Yeah, just recently that we have a newborn baby. That's the one standing under the tree. Do they only eat grass? Yes, but not only the grass that they eat, they eat different food. We have some of the tree, they eat the back of the tree, they eat salt lake and then other, but because they are in a cage, they don't find those ones. So it's only the grass that they feed on. Have they hurt you at all? Uh, they are not harmful, but you know, when animals are in a danger, they react. Yes. So when they see that there's a danger approach, that one there, they can be aggressive. But with that, that they are not harmful. Is there a way to call them over? Uh, we don't treat them that way, so we don't call them. Yes. Mostly, if they see you and they would like to come close to you, they themselves, they come close to you. Sometimes, they will be very close to the fence. When they see you come, they just move away. This plant is called neem tree. We call it neem tree. It's a medicinal plant. It's good for malaria. Yeah, it's good for malaria. And you will find a lot of them in the savanna area. Uh -huh. It's a very good plant. I'm here at the monkey sanctuary. And at first when we came in, oh, we saw monkeys. And to be more exact, we saw baboons. So that was very exciting. Then we came and we saw zebras. I don't know if you can see them here right now. It's more over there. But now we're looking for the ostrich. Can't find them yet, but hopefully when we're coming back this way that we do find them. I just got these leaves from the neem tree and they're actually very good with healing malaria. Maybe I'll have to take these home. They can really come in handy. What we are going to see in the museum here is what, um, the things, some of the cultural things that the shy people were living here that they were using and then we have some of the animal skins and their bones. This is a python skin. We have two types of the pythons here. We have rare pythons and then we have Africa pythons. Africa pythons are the most dangerous ones. But the rare pythons are not the dangerous ones.
So they are the dangerous ones. They are very, very dangerous. So anytime you see Africa python, you have to be very, very careful the way you approach them. And we have a lot of them here. We have a lot of pythons here. And at the same time too, we have different kind of snakes also here. That's the foot of an elephant. And you can see how big it is. And this is a baby foot. That's a baby elephant. Yeah, this is yeah, this is baby elephant. Yeah. But in Shahis here, we don't have the elephants here. So we try as much as possible to bring it here so that when people come they can see in it. Yeah. And then that's the ear. The ear of what? Of an a baby elephant. Yeah, this is the ear of an a baby elephant. <laughs> yes, of course. Is this a baby? Yeah, this is a baby. Yeah, this is a baby elephant. Yeah, this is a skin. That's the skin of an elephant. So you can see the thickness. That is why they are very mighty that they can uproot trees and other things. They don't fear because the skin is very thick and hard. So this is the head of what a baboon. That's the head of a baboon. And then this one is what? A zebra. That's the what? The head of the scat of a zebra. And then that's the leg of an what? Elephant. Raise it and see how heavy it is. That's the scat of an elephant. It's heavy, huh? Eh? Yes. So it tastes you know all these things make the elephant become a mightier right that they can uproot trees they can run with that fear they can do anything without any problem yeah because they are a kind of animals that when you see their skin their skin is what very thick and hard yeah and that's the head of an elephant yeah that's the head of an elephant and then that's the foot of an adult elephant. Yeah, that's the bone of what an elephant. Come, come and feel it. It's a real bone of an elephant. Hold it, raise it up. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that's the rib of what an elephant. You see that? Yeah, and then that's the what um, this side, uh, yeah, of an elephant. So can you lift it up? Yeah, let's try and lift it up. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, so you can see how heavy it is. Aha! But it can run very faster. Elephants can run very faster. They dig under the ground, so they always live in the, in the ground. So if you are not careful when you step in them, you fall into them. When you fall into them, you see that they will start covering you. And as they were covering you, they will be biting you. Some can enter your ears, your nose, whatever. So if a python sees some animal and he wanted to swallow it, he move around and then check if this soldier ant is not around. Before he will come and kill whatever he wanted to kill and swallow. Because if he's there and these soldier ants also came and meet him, they will kill him. They will kill him because they bite. And they don't they move in thousands. So they will just cover you and be biting and he will die. You can't do anything. So because of that, anytime a python wants to swallow something that he can't move, he has to check around if this ant is not around before he will come and swallow whatever he wanted to swallow. Can we go? I, I, I don't want anything getting in my ears.
Uh, long grass. I was able to see the ostrich over there. Just mind his own business. <laughs> but I've learned that like, they can run 22 to 30 miles per hour very fast. Their neck is very long. And an interesting fact about the eggs is they're, the eggs are like about this size, very big. So, few things I learned today. Um, as for this area, it's very difficult. Yes, I will. it's very difficult to see the antelopes around this area because antelopes doesn't like where there's a lot of noise. Uh, they don't like to get close to where there's a human populations are, so they always like to move away from people. But so you find antelopes like deeper in the forest? Yes, you find antelope deeper in the forest, but not closer. To the reception area or where there's a human populations are. We try to go find some? Then as for them, they are not at one place. So before you see them, unless you were driving around the park, and then you'll be searching for them. So that's how we normally do it. Today, I had an amazing adventure in Ghana. I saw monkeys, I saw an ostrich, zebras, and even antelopes. I also climbed up a huge hill, which was very scary and so much fun at the same time. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more amazing adventures. We have three different species of the monkeys here. These are baboons. We have green monkeys, and then we have the black and white color ones. <laughs> Welcome to my amazing adventures in Ghana. <laughs> 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 <laughs>